everybody, Dr. Jamie here, and you are about to listen to the Dr. Jamie Show audio experience. I hope you enjoy the tips and advice in this segment. Hey everyone, you are listening to the Dr. Jamie Show audio experience. I'm so happy that you are here to tune in today as I am lucky enough to be sitting next to best-selling author and ghostwriter Karen Rowe, KarenRowe.com. She is the author of Behind the Cover, a ghostwriter's guide to authoring your own business book. Karen, thanks for joining us today. Oh, thank you so much for having me. Yeah, so um, everyone, Karen just sat through the 60-minute Dr. Jamie Show. She is a wealth of knowledge. Uh, And we are going to ask her right now during this audio experience three of the best questions that she answered on the show. The first one is, what does someone do if they want to write a book? Where do they even begin? Well, like I said on the show, if you don't know where to start, start any damn place. So the first thing you want to do is get it in your calendar, uh, schedule it, and then honor that schedule. Okay. Okay, so we want to get it down on paper that, hey, we're doing this, and then we want to go ahead and stick to that committed time. Is that right? That's right. And tell everyone that you're doing it okay. so that you have some external accountability. I love that you said that in the show. So um, just like I'm, if I want to go to the gym, uh, I have a personal trainer. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say, hey, I'm going to lose 10 pounds. I'm committing myself to that. I've told my husband I'm going to do it. I've told my trainer I'm going to do it. I've put posts out on social media. Now I'm doing that with my book. I'm going to go ahead and say, hey, everyone, I'm writing this book. It's ex- And I like how you put a date to it. It's going to come out December whatever, January whatever. And now I've told the world about it, so I need to come through and do it. Um, okay, so if you want to write a book, uh, make sure that you tell people about it, you schedule time, and you just do it. What about writer's block? So I hear all these people, and they're saying, oh, my God, I can't write a book. I'm halfway through. I've had writer's block for 14 years. Um, <laughs> how, do you, <laughs> how do you overcome? A writer's block. Well, uh, what I what I said on the show is I don't believe in writer's block. I think it's a fallacy. Okay. Um, you know because there's lots of industries where people don't get blocked. You don't get plumber's block. You don't get engineers. But block. if you do get plumber's block, like I said on the show, you take a laxative. <laughs> so. <laughs> That's right. However, um, you know, if you find yourself stuck in the book, there's a lot of different things you can do. The tips I said was take a break, go do something different, go exercise, go for a walk, um, you know, get outside and just take a little break. So walk away from it. Walk away from it. Second thing I said was do something different, work on a different project. Also, you can work on a different part of your book. Things like, oh, I need to get an ISBN or maybe I can work on the cover design or, you know, another aspect and, and then return turn to that section the third thing I said is like ask yourself some difficult questions so what is having you be stuck maybe it's that that story or that section doesn't fit and it needs to be uh, used and repurposed in a different way Uh, phone a friend you know ask a a colleague or a client or uh, you know someone that's close to you that can help you figure out why you're stuck okay you know I like that because then this is something I shared on the show as well so there were points in my book where I got stuck um, and it was mostly because I wanted to go ahead and have this particular paragraph or chapter or page or whatever in my book but it wasn't fitting and I was so stubborn I wanted to make it work fit 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 and it didn't and I realized yes I put time and effort into it but I could move a lot quicker if I got rid of this part and just continued on so I actually took parts of my book out and I used them as blog posts because I didn't want to waste the content and I was getting so hung up and I put so much time and energy into this I want to make it fit and it wasn't I was getting stuck so I just repurposed it somewhere else yeah and the the great thing about that that you point to is that you were attached to a certain content, right? So when you're emotionally attached, it's hard to be objective and walking away will give you some objectivity. Okay, I love that. So, all right, the last thing I wanna touch on today is a ghostwriter. What the heck is a ghostwriter? And then tell us if it's cheating. Gotcha. So a ghostwriter is uh, taking someone else's book ideas and writing the book and then putting that person's name on it. So I'm doing the work, but your name is going on it. So a lot of people think that's cheating because they're not doing the work. And I equated it on the show to having a personal trainer. Yes. Right? So you are just getting the results faster and you're doing it smarter, not harder. So suffering is optional. Okay. Get the epidural, ladies. That's That's right. It's not cheating if you get the epidural. Right. (laughs) That's right. So I'm just taking your content and ideas 
and capturing your genius on the page and making you sound good. Okay, can you walk us through your process because it involves margaritas in the beach? It does, okay. I know, it's the best. <laughs> uh, so basically I meet my clients uh, at the beach for three days okay. in a hotel room. We're not necessarily like on the beach because we record audios and the ocean is beautiful but it's a pain in the ass for the audio. Yes. <laughs> So we're in the hotel room. I have a blueprint that I follow. Each chapter serves a purpose. I'm okay. asking questions based on what I need to know for each chapter. I'm also listening for what is the unique value that you have to contribute. What's the content that only you can share? What have I not heard and read a million times already? Okay. Uh, we're recording those audios. We're transcribing them. And then we're walking out at the end of the three days with the first draft done. You go back to your beautiful life and the real work for us begins with the editing. Okay. And how long does it take you to write a book for a client? We have three month, four month, and six month packages. Okay, fabulous. And it takes about, you were saying, 400 hours to write a book and you bring it down to 40 hours for the author? That's right, and that mostly takes place over the course of those three days and then it looks like a 30 minute check-in once a week, which is mostly a status update. Here's what we're doing on your book. Mm -hmm. um, you might have to contribute some more content or clarify points that we're not clear on. You do have to review the manuscript yeah, I mean, it's a your book is a representation right. of you. It's your reputation, absolutely. Yeah. However, you're not doing all the heavy lifting, and you're not doing it on your own. Okay, so ghostwriting is not cheating. It is is extra help and extra support um, along the process. This is uh, Karen Rowe talking to us about ghostwriting, how to write a book. She is the best-selling author of Behind the Cover, A Ghostwriter's Guide to Authoring Your Own Business Book. Thank you, Karen, for joining us. Um, everyone, go to KarenRowe.com. Find out the ways you can follow her, the ways that you can hire her, and also go to DrJamieK.com. You can also go to my iTunes. Uh, subscribe to my podcast as well as my YouTube channel. Just type in Jamie Kulaga and click that subscribe button. Email me with any ideas you want for a show at doctor at drjamiek.com. Have a great day. Bye. Thank you so much for listening to the Dr. Jamie Show audio experience. I really hope that you enjoyed the tips and advice given on today's segment. Do me a favor and go to iTunes and my YouTube and please subscribe to that channel. Every subscribe, every like, every follow helps the Dr. Jamie Show grow so that we can bring you the best guest and the best content possible. And of course, as always, if you have any feedback, feel free to leave that as well. Talk to you soon.